Well, there's a demonization of guns because if you pull that trigger at the wrong direction, you can hurt something. If I wrap these things around your neck, I can hurt things. They don't outlaw hands. It's the act of the person, not of the implement. It's not the gun's fault. It's not strange in Harney County to have guns with you. People have guns in their pickups, on their person. Guns are something that we live with on the ranch. I mean, it's a humane thing for anything that we should be responsible for. Our dogs, our cats, our cattle. A gun is a really important thing when you're hours from any kind of medical help. It's a sad thing that people think that guns are just to kill people, they're not. I moved here in 1978, and I can guarantee you, if you were to stop by and drive around in the high school parking lot, there was at least one gun in every car out there. Wasn't anybody killing anybody with them. They use them for predator control. If there are animals that are killing their livestock, procurement of food for self-defense, it's your Second Amendment right. I think the uh, gun culture has been misconstrued by people using them inappropriately. A gun is a tool. Um, every gun has a different purpose. Hunting rifle, shotgun, pistol. There's, it's not about the weapon. It's about the person behind the weapon and their intentions. It's not a demon. It's not a murdering device. And if there's someone who has a weapon and they have bad intentions and they want to harm you and hurt you, average police response time is two minutes. You can put out a lot of shots in two minutes. It's not against the law to carry a firearm in the state of Oregon. You can't carry it into a post office and you can't carry it into the courthouse. Culturally, we've, we've gotten away from carrying firearms with us everywhere we go. You know, everybody loves a good John Wayne movie. You know, everybody's got the pistol on their hip. But um, that's not normal for downtown, you know, Burns or Hines, Oregon. Beginning December-ish of uh, 2015, when we started having a lot of people from out of our state show up here, there was a level of discomfort with seeing strangers walking up and down our streets carrying assault weapons or carrying a, a pistol on their hip. For a whole month, and we've been going to town, and I swear, I didn't know whether I should go in as Annie Oakley with six guns on my hips, because everywhere you went, you'd see people in the grocery stores packing guns. I had never seen anything like that in my town, ever. I got lots of guns, and most of us in this county do. I think there's an unwritten law to see how many who can have the most guns when they die. I, I swear that's true. You go know, to people's houses and they got a gun safe full of guns. But I don't support it, using it for intimidation. Even though something's not against the law, it, it, it can still be a violation of somebody's rights if you're making them feel uncomfortable in their own community. They never pointed a weapon at anybody. There was no act of crime. No one was hurt. Uh, the, the moment somebody draws out a weapon, or uh, threatens to blow something up, they lose, uh, in my judgment, because there's going to have to be, on the part of law enforcement, be it local, county, state, or federal, a way of stopping the use of that illegal force. And uh, the idea that somehow uh, rules and laws change at the end of a barrel uh, is just incorrect. That's not the way America operates. Guns are part of their lives. It's part of who they are. It's part of how they live. It's part of a tradition that's existed in this country from the beginning of time. As an urban person, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But boy, when I started to meet and talk to rural people and get an understanding of how they view firearms, I understood that it was totally different. For a person in New York to see a bunch of individuals dressed in camouflage with guns standing on a wildlife refuge, they think those are terrorists. That's the way those guys dress on any Saturday to go out and varmint shoot in their backyard or do anything else. What they did was absolutely wrong. It wasn't just a little citizen showing some dissension. To take over a federal building, to cause people to have to leave their jobs and leave their community 
for 41 days before they could come back and to run around in this community with firearms. Well, whatever happened to having manners with firearms for crying out loud? We all know we can bear arms, but why in the hell do we have to walk around showing them off for? Years ago, we all had guns in our pickups. You used them to hunt rabbits and squirrels, and you used them to put an animal down if you had to. You did not use them to kill human beings, and that is exactly what they were doing with their guns. They meant to kill with them, not a rabbit, but a human, if necessary. And that was wrong. That was wrong to put this community through that. People say, well, well, why were the people at the refuge packing guns? Let's take the scenario that there's a porcupine out there and there's a cougar and he's hungry. If that porcupine didn't have quills all over him to where he could poke a hole in something that was attacking him, then everything would attack him and there would be no porcupines. The people out there at the refuge, if they didn't have any guns, they wouldn't have lasted at all. They would have no way to protect themselves and the government could have done whatever they wanted to. The law enforcement, anybody could have done whatever they want. That was for their protection. That was their porcupine quills. And that's what it takes to shoot the gun. <laughs>